we searched the electronic databases that are available, and we looked at all published trials um, that reported mortality following anesthesia. We then got our hands on those trials, and we recorded their findings. We then took all of those, those findings and we pulled them together so that we could look at essentially trends of mortality following anesthesia over time. And our study goes back. Uh, there are some um, papers that we pulled from the late 1930s and early 40s all the way up to 2005, 2006. Um, what we've been able to show from the paper is that the, uh, the mortality has dropped quite significantly and quite steeply. Um, your risk of dying was a bit more than 300 per million before the 1970s, and we're now less than 100 per million uh, currently. It's about a 90% reduction in mortality. We were able to look at both uh, developed and developing countries because we also were interested in whether or not there were differences in mortality based on which country uh, you were in. Because we know that developing countries, uh, the, the sophistication of medical care is lower, so we were also interested in, in discovering whether or not their mortality was going down at the same rate as developed countries, uh, faster or slower. And we were able to show that in developing countries, the rate of change in mortality was actually lower, not surprising, than in developed countries. Um, but that consistently, even in developing countries, the rates of mortality have been going down uh, over time. We often have an interesting comparison with uh, airlines and airline statistics because we know that people are afraid of flying in an airplane because of the risk of death, even though we know that in the airline industry, the risks of you dying from a, an airplane crash are low and have been steadily going down. Um, we also know that people who come for surgery are afraid of dying from the anesthetic or from the surgery. And we're able to show the same thing, that we have had rates steadily going down, that your rates of of dying from an anesthetic by itself are extremely low, uh, so that is reassuring, I think, but uh, it also raises the question, can we do better? And the airline industry, even though they have low, a low risk of you dying in an airplane crash, are continuing to improve uh, the standards and the safety, and uh, that's what anesthesia has been aiming to do as well. Even though we know the risk is low, we continue to improve the standards and the safety for patients so that they can be more comfortable and confident when they come for surgery.